Okay, so we're about to do an LED basic light kit on a uh, 2012 um, Club Car President. Now this one, we did the lithium battery conversion, so we will, we will have to run a voltage reducer, um, which all this is purchased separately. So you can order your LED basic light kit, um, which fits the 04 through 08 and a half without the bucket harness, this guy. If you have the 08 and a half and up, um, it has six, eight volts and it does not come pre-wired. So you have to purchase the bucket harness separately or find a kit that specifies that it comes with the bucket harness. Now, since we are going to be running 48 volts to a light kit that needs 12 volts, we're going to have to run a voltage reducer. Now we're going to be using the 48 to 12 um, voltage reducer, which looks like that. Now this one comes already set up for me just to use the voltage reducer harness. So all I gotta do is unplug these two, plug in that right here, and then this will plug into the bucket harness. And that way the voltage reducer won't stay live when the key is off. So when the key is off, it kills power to the voltage reducer, kills power to the lights. Uh, but I'll show you how that gets hooked up as we go along. So the first step is to remove your floor mat, which I've already done here. Um, all you do is remove the two bolts on each side of the rocker panel, and then you just pull this back, and then you can slide the floor mat out from underneath here, and the whole piece comes out. Um, and then the next step, we're gonna drill a hole into the dash for our um, on and off switch. Now, it's a one half inch drill bit that I use, and if you look, there's actually a little dimple right there that tells you where to drill. Um, so we're gonna drill right through that. All right, now that we have our hole drilled, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hardware to get the dash to come down. Um, the way you get it is there's two screws, one on each side there, and there's one right here on top. Remove those three and this whole piece comes down. Okay, now that we have it down, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little plastic piece on the bottom here so we can run our bucket harness from the front of the golf cart to the back, we're gonna be using this little channel right here to run it. Um, to get this piece off, there's three screws. One, two, and the third one's on the end over there. We're gonna zap those off, and then we'll remove this plastic piece right here. All right, now that we got the three screws out, we're gonna remove this plastic piece. Now you just need to get something sharp and put it right through those holes and then bend it outward, so. See how it came out? Then you're gonna do it on the other side. Now it's loose and it comes out. Now, I typically like to take out these two screws right here. So that way I can grab this and lift it up to kind of maneuver that out. Um, it's up to you whether you wanna do that or not. It's just easier if you do. Now that I have the two screws out, you just lift this up. As you can see, it's already starting to expose it right there. And then you just slide it outward. So that way they have, the, they have these little grooves here so you can slide it just out from underneath the bucket. And now that I have the piece out, as you can see, it has teeth on it. Um, so it is gonna be a little bit of a struggle to get it back in if you do not take these screws out. Um, now we're ready to run the bucket harness from the front of the golf cart to the back. Okay, now that we have our bucket harness here, we're gonna cut the zip ties off of it. Now it's easy to tell, or it's not easy to tell, it's easy for me to tell. Um, I've done this so many times. This goes in the front. And all this goes in the back. And if you look on the back, these are your tail lights um, plugs. And one says driver. Um, if yours doesn't say it, then if you ever go to install a deluxe light kit which has turn signals, if you have it wired to the other side, obviously when you hit the hit the light switch to go driver side and you have it wired backwards, the passenger side will start blinking. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, run this real quick. So easiest way is to take the end that goes towards the front. Wire it right through here. Now it's coming out of the front. You can toss this on top of your battery. Um, pull it through. You really just need enough slack to get it to go behind the dash because you're going to take your harness that came with yours. Looks like this. That end is going to plug into that end, but since we're running a bulk reducer, we're going to use that plug I talked to you about earlier. This is going to go in between those two. 
Um, this is going to plug into one side and it's going to plug into the other side. So before we get everything wired up, let's go ahead and put on the on and off switch. Um, super easy. Just twist this guy off. And then you have two screws right there. So you just take it off, slide it through the hole that we drilled earlier. Slide it through and then put this back on to snug it right, Now that we have the light switch on, mounted to the dash, we're going to go ahead and plug in. Um, so this is for your light, your headlight. So there's a little channel down here. And you just push this guy through for your headlight. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in the voltage reducer harness. And show it. Okay, just plugged it in. So we have the headlight uh, harness going to the front. This is our voltage reducer harness. You can tell it has two plugs on it. Um, we're going to run this to the front as well because that's where I like to mount it. And then it's plugged into the bucket harness, which is running back into the bag well, I mean the uh, battery tray. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run the voltage, voltage reducer harness to the front. I'd like to mount it down in here um, just because it's easy to access um, if it ever does fail. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it and I'll show you. Okay, I've run the wires to the front. I haven't mounted the voltage reducer yet, but I want to show you real quick. If you're going to run your um, deluxe light kit, this gray wire has to be plugged in. So this gray wire plugs into the factory harness right here to this gray wire. Now that I've got that plugged in, I'm actually going to put the dash uh, cover back up and we're pretty much done behind there. Um, everything else is going to be either in the front of the golf cart, battery tray, and also tail lights. So we're all done in the dash. So let's go ahead and zap it back. All right, now that we have the dash cover back on, now we're going to go ahead and run the wiring through that channel right there. Um, so we can go and put this back together. Okay, now that I have that ran, we're going to grab this piece. We're going to put it back on. So you are going to have to work to nagle it on because it's not easy, um, especially if you don't have those screws out. So you're going to lift up the body and then kind of push underneath and get those locked back into place. Okay. Now that we have it slid back into place, the body's back into its channels, we're going to put the hardware back in. Um, which you just got to line up your hole down here and then zap it. All right, now that we have all three put back in, we're going to put this little cap back on. You just push it till it snaps and then it's in. Just got to put these two last screws in and then I'm done with this and then the floor mat. Now, if your floorboard's dirty like this, you can take it outside and just, you know, wash it. Um, you're not going to hurt anything, um, which is what I'm going to do with this later. But right now, I'm going to put the floor mat on just to kind of show you um how that goes on all right so also format on here now you just want to tuck these underneath the cup holder just underneath there then we're going to position this over the pedal assembly Now that that's there, we need to push this underneath it all the way to the other side. All right, to get this portion in, you do have to pop your rocker panel out to slide that underneath. And then you do have to slide this back into its spot right there and then snap it in. Okay, now that we got both sides popped in, um, going through there, you'll see your hole right there. You just take your hardware you saved when you took your floor mat out, zap it back in. Okay, it's time to run our wires to the back. So here's your tail lights right there. All right, so since we're running a lithium battery, it's no different if you have lead acid. Your main pause is going to be on that side. You can tell because it has this blue wire coming off of the main terminal, main positive. Now, on your harness, you get a grip on it. As you can see here, you have a black wire with a male end, and then your positive has a female end. Now this plugs in right there, and then the black wire plugs into your factory harness, which is right there. There's the female end, you plug this in, and then that is 48 volts. So I'm just gonna check the voltage here. So everything is plugged in, we have your positive 
going to the positive side. Again, if you had lead acid batteries, this positive terminal would be on a lead acid battery right on this side. You have one going that way, one going that way, and then one sideways. That's your main positive over there. Um, and then this wire is still in here. It's just usually tucked back, back behind here. You just gotta find it. Um, then you plug it in. Now, let's check the voltage. So I've already got my negative pushed into that um, black wire. And then I'm gonna touch it right here. I turned on my battery. As you can see, 53 volts. So we do have power going to the light kit. I'm not turning anything on yet because I don't have my voltage reducer um, plugged in yet. I'm just running on my wire first. All right, out of the box, I went and pulled the tail lights out. Um, easiest way to do these is just to put them where you want them to be. Like if you want it to sit a little bit further out or if you want to sit flush, go ahead and set it right there. Um, and then mark your hole. As you can see, you have to fit that wire through the body. So when you get down here, see where your wire is at, put your finger right there, and then you know where to drill. And then you just go ahead and drill your hole. I personally use this guy, which is, is it two inch? Yeah, more to see, but that's what I use. It's just a two inch, uh, and I just drill right through it. Let me go and drill both holes. I'll show you what okay, I have fed my wire through, cut both of my holes on both sides. Um, so now we're gonna now we're gonna peel this this plastic off um, so we can get to the uh, the adhesive tape so we can push it to the body. All right, now that we have the tape off, we're gonna go ahead and slide the light in. So just find your hole, push it against the body, and then you'll go ahead and put your screws in. Obviously one down there, then one right there. Um, you are gonna get a hardware pack with your light kit. Um, there's gonna come, it's gonna come with instructions, but I've already taken it out. So you're gonna get zip ties and your four screws. So we're gonna use those screws, lock this down, and then we'll do the other side All as well. Right. Both tail lights are in. Now we're gonna move to the front and we're gonna get the voltage reducer put in as well as the headlight bar. So on the voltage reducer, I am gonna to have to unplug this, um, these wires, which is just two plugs. Um, the reason for that is if you were gonna use this voltage reducer and on a different car, then you would use these um, to wire it up because it wouldn't be able to be plugged into the, like this one has a bucket harness, wouldn't be able to be plugged into the harness. Um, so I'm just gonna unplug these. Okay, now that I've got them unplugged, now it's time to mount the voltage reducer up. I'm personally going to I'm going to self tap into that plate um, and then just plug it in right where those harness, wherever that uh, harness is dangling. Okay, I have put the bolster reducer in the wheel well here. I just ran some self taps on the top and the bottom to secure it. So now just got to plug in the wires into the harness and then that'll be done. So we're about to run the uh, headlight harness. What I like to do. Here it is right here. I like to run it over this. Got that where you can see it. So that way it's away from the steering box. Um, I would not run it through here just because you have moving components there. I run it through the top and then once I get it plugged in to the headlight, then I go ahead and zip, uh, zip tie all these, all these harnesses down um, away from the wheels. Okay, here's the front of the golf cart. So typically there's a plastic shield right here at your bumper um, and behind it, you'll have to go from the side to get to these bolts right here, which you'll have it going through from the top to the bottom here with the nut on the bottom. Um, since I did the lift kit, it had to come off. So there's no point in me putting it back on, but that's where your hardware is. Just take it, zap off the nut, pull out your bolts and then your headlight. has these brackets here to slide over the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over the frame right here. And then once I get the holes lined up to put my bolts in, I will zap them down. Okay, now I've slid the headlight bar on. 
you can see down there where I've already lined up the hole. So you see the harness still dangling. I'll plug it in in a minute to that guy. But we'll go ahead and put our hardware through it um, all the way through to the bottom. And then I'll zap the bolts down, get those tight, and then we'll plug in the harness. Okay, I've got both bolts in all the way down now. I just need to zap those two bolts, uh, the two nuts down, and then the headlight will be secured to the golf cart. Okay, got the headlight in. As you can see, it's pretty flush with the, uh, with the trim right here. Um, you don't want it sticking out super far and take off the plastic. Okay, so I've already plugged in the harness up there. So it's plugged in. Um, you'll see some additional wires here. That's for your horn, uh, if you did the deluxe light kit. So you would run that over to your horn. You'd use the bolt right there. Not this one for your shock, but the one right here, that's where you would mount your horn. Um, they go around to the, the battery tray. These additional wires right here, these are for your brake lights it, uh, switch if you were to use the deluxe light kit. So you would just run these through your floor mat. Um, as you saw, I ran the bucket harness right through here. Um, you just run it right into here, right where your uh, pedal assembly is, and then you would mount up your brake light switch. But there's nothing else in here that's, everything else is hooked up. Um, so that's the only wires that are supposed to be left, left behind. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna zip tie the zip ties that came with the hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie all these wires out of the way um, so they're not near anything that moves. All right, so I've got everything zip tied out of the way. Got the harness going up away from the steering rack. All that's done. So voltage reducer is mounted, plugged in. Everything's good. So now that I'm hooked up, let's go ahead and put it into run. Turn the key on. That's which is gonna activate the voltage reducer. And then let's just see if it works. There you go. Let's check the tail lights. On and on. Now you'll see that when you turn off the key, there goes the light. So even though the switch is out, it's really from the key because the key will turn on the headlight. So even if you forget, you turn off the key and boom, it's off. So that is the light kit. Hope you all enjoyed watching.